Welcome. Um, we've got the uh, amplifier board out of the Sovereign um, 2 RP25 A205. It's time to do the quiescent current and midpoint voltage. Um, just one thing uh, I did, um, well, I, I was given a nudge yesterday, uh, C5, which was a 40 microfarad. Obviously, I changed it for a 47, but uh, in, this, in the service manual, there was an amendment uh, done to stop um, to stop excess current draw when the sw the set is switched on um, to do with the base circuit and uh, basically they replaced C5 with a six microfarad. So I've took out my um, my 47 and I've popped in. You can't see it, can you? I've popped in a 6.8. Where's where's the right side? Right in there. Yeah, so there you go. I've popped in a 6.8 microfarad now. So that's that one done. Um, it's probably, it's, it's not, it's not an issue really. It wouldn't have hurt the set at all. I suppose it just stops that little thump on startup. I do quite like that. So in preparation, I've cut the, um, the test, the test sort of loop. There's a, a link in there. So I've cut the link and just bent the legs up so I can connect onto it with my motivator. Um, that's for the uh, quiescent current. And for the midpoint voltage, you need to measure in between these two resistors at the back here, these two that are virtually touching. So you need to, to measure in between them. So what, what the easiest thing to do is to just stick a wire on the junction. So I've just got a wire which I can hook up to the multimeter. And one other thing we need to do is just bridge the input to ground. So there's no signal coming in, so it's a totally quiet set. It's a quiescent current, so the current draw with no signal really. So I'm going to get the meters and the set set up and um, join me again in a sec. Okay, we're all set up. This meter is measuring the midpoint voltage, this is measuring the current, and uh, it's sort of connected up there. So this is the current meter, this is the voltage meter, and I've got the ground just clipped over here. So, looking at the manual, it says um, basically to adjust RV4 first to give 3 milliamps. So, let's see what it is at the moment. Let me switch it on. So, it should be 3 milliamps. To be fair, that ain't far off. 3.3. .3. So, I'm just going to adjust this one. Bound to be the wrong way, innit? That's not moving. Ah, oh, I've just remembered these are painted in, aren't they? Well, they have moved it a little bit, look. There, three. So you can see our midpoint voltage is 9.16. That needs to be 8.9. So again, we're not very far off, are we? Um, but you can see there's um, some green paint. So I'm going to have to put some acetone on that in a minute just to release that. Just so I can set it up. Um, you do find that this this uh, reading here bounces all over the shop, but to be fair, if, if it stays like that, that's no problem at all. I can leave it exactly as it is. That one's a bit high, so I just need to bring the, the midpoint voltage down. Okay, I've now freed that up with some acetone, and uh, I've given it a couple turns, so I mean, I might have turned it exactly as needed now, but uh, let's have a look. Turn it on. So we need to just um, get that down to 8.9. So let me get my screwdriver in there. Might have to go the wrong way. Okay, that screwdriver's not enough to turn it. Wrong way. Screwdriver out, 8.9. So we've got the midpoint voltage right, but now what you find is the quiescent current's gone down. So I'm going to need to free that one up now and adjust that one up a little bit. Okay, just done that. I've just adjusted it. We're on 2.97, 2.98, 2.99. 
and we're still on 8.9 so I think we're going to leave that there obviously the higher the current the more the more battery drain you've got so we've now got our voltage correct 8.9 and 3 milliamps thereabouts I will leave it just for a, a few minutes just to warm up and just to see if it does uh, drift anywhere and I'll just give it a final tweak but um, it does look like it's dropping slightly so I'll give it a few minutes and I'll just give it a final tweak okay there we are 3.03 .03. that's pretty stable now oh it's just jumped out this because my phone's uh, interfering with it and giving it a signal So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to use some uh, some of Mrs. Cruncher's nail varnish. Just, she still doesn't know I've got this. <laughs> it's like a nail hardener stuff. I'm just going to put that back on the um, two pots to seal them. And uh, then I'm going to wrap it up. We'll take the link back out. Put a new piece of wire in the test link there. take that wire off and um, give it a final test but that's it for now thanks for watching